Hello Barbadians, Happy New Year. I wanted to take this opportunity on the first working day of 2023 to just share a few thoughts with you so that we are clear as to where we want to go as a nation during the course of this next year. But before I do that, let me once again thank you, thank all Barbadians for their cooperation, their support, for traveling on this very, very difficult journey over the course of the last three years, in particular since the COVID-19 pandemic, which introduced us to a way of living that we never thought we would ever have to deal with. The reality is that while the majority of the pandemic and its worst consequences are behind us, there are still some among us who have to be careful and who have to continue to ensure that they keep all of the basic rudiments close to their heart. And we ask Barbadians to cooperate and to respect each other as we do that. At the same time, we recognize that it wasn't only the pandemic that made life difficult in the last year. Indeed, the war in Ukraine found its way all the way to where we are by ensuring that the prices and cost of living that we're, we were confronting all went up in ways that we did not even contemplate. Yes, it has been a very difficult time, but yes, we've also made it. Last year, we were able to grow in a way that we anticipated recovering from the very, very difficult decline of 2020 when we saw our economy decline by almost 14%. Indeed, last year we have been able to grow and I'm asking us to ensure that if we can stay the course that we will continue to do so again. The truth is that the headwinds are still out there internationally. But we equally know that if we work carefully and are careful stewards of all that we do, we can in fact make it. And it is to this that I would wish us to speak. Over the course of the last few months, we have been engaging with different groups and sections in our society in the social partnership, recognizing that no matter how much a government may want us to grow, no matter how much a prime minister I may want us to grow, that ultimately it depends on all of us working together and making that definable difference to help the needle move. We are at a difficult point in our country's development, largely because the world is at a difficult point in its development. And what is required of us in 2023 is to build resilience, to build resilience at a personal level, at a community level, to build resilience as a nation, to continue the structural reforms that we've been doing, recognizing that over the course of the last four years, yes, we have had to say to you to stay the course and to hold on and to hold on tight. And that is because the difficulties have been many, ranging from what we inherited to what we've confronted over the course of the pandemic, over the course of the climate difficulties that we had with Hurricane Elsa, and indeed the freak storm and the ash fall. And then of course, the difficulties that have been presented by the war in Ukraine with cost of living and energy prices in particular rising at an astronomical rate. My friends, we have made it partially, but we can continue to do so by doing it together. I ask us to recognize that some of the restructuring which we started has to continue this year, and we will do so recognizing equally that as we ask people to share the burden, wherever there is a bounty, we will also share it. We will ensure that the mission of enfranchisement and empowerment continues to be our guiding principle. But we are sensitive to the fact that there are still some of you who are feeling it harder than others. And to that extent, the government will keep its eyes open and its arms wide in order to support you, just as we've done over the course of the last few years. I'd like us to recognize that each of us has a role to play from wherever we are, whether in the labor movement, whether in the private sector, whether in civil society, or whether as individual players, as workers or investors or employers as government, as public servants. And this is because collectively, our efforts will make the difference to our being able to add 2023 as another year of growth to what we have been able to achieve in 2022. That's not always easy. You know it and I know it. And there are some issues that we can do better. And there are some conversations that we have to have at the granular level in order to see how we can help each other to do better. At the same time, we recognize that there are some threats that we have to confront. There is no gainsaying 
that the issue of violence, and in particular gun violence, has to be confronted by all of us as a nation. And it is to that that we have continued to speak. We've put resources behind being able to do more trials at a quicker rate, being able to give the police and law enforcement that which they need to keep the country safe. But you and I both know also that we need at the level of our families and communities to ensure that we can do what we have to do. Because guns don't talk and guns don't walk. It is people who do, who use guns. And to that extent, if we start by eliminating violence from our language, violence from our communities, and one thing that we need to do is to help each other to understand how not to respond in a reprisal. In other words, as a Bajan would say, how to take a done how to leave it there, how not to want to carry it on any further. Because if we can master that, then we can ensure that a lot of what we are seeing, as the police have advised us, can be put into context and that we can start to contain the levels that are before us. We urge everyone to cooperate with the police as they seek to make us safe, recognizing that they alone, however, cannot do it by themselves. Then I want us to look at the issue of what we do as individuals. We have to work hard in order to be able to prepare ourselves better, but we have to work hard in the jobs that we do in order to make sure that we can deliver whatever it is, whether we're making goods or delivering services to people. The truth is that many people have always said, oh, we're looking for a job, we ain't looking for hard work. Well, I don't want to be the one to give you bad news, but the truth is, in this world now, it is only hard work that is going to get us home safely in almost everything that we do. And I want us to be able to spread that message and to hold each other up. And if we need additional training or if we need additional assistance, then let us confront it by having those discussions. But this country now, if it is to grow, needs the majority of us pulling in the same direction. You have heard me say over and over, many hands make light work. The third thing that I want us to do is to be able to control our environment and to recognize that the environment within which we live and within which we work is very much capable of being made better by what we do. There was a time in Barbados where people cleaned all around their properties. There was a time in Barbados where people who owned property kept it clean even if they weren't living there or there weren't houses on it. We need to be able to go back to those days where people accept responsibility for their environment and also for what they do each and every day. The next 362 days in 2023 can be a period where Barbadians distinguish ourselves by ensuring that we work together to fight off the headwinds internationally that would suggest a very, very difficult year again. We know that we have much to do domestically in terms of our housing program, in terms of our renewable energy programs. We know that we will continue to boost our tourism and our international business sector. But I don't want us to focus just on these macro things in terms of the sectoral approaches. I want us to focus on what each of us individually can do to make this country better, to make our communities better, to make our family lives better. And that is going to mean also being our brothers and sisters keeper as we go forward. Because even as I ask those of us who work to work harder, we recognize that there's some who will never be able to do it as we keep saying. Let us be that person who offers generosity of spirit, recognizing that we can always go the extra distance, whether it is at work or in our communities or in our families. And if we can do that, 2023, my friends, will be a better year for us all in spite of all that faces us globally. You know, our great brother and Caribbean icon, Black Stalin, will be laid to rest later this week. And I can do no better than remember his own words, that we can make it if we try just a little harder. I believe that fervently, as I'm sure many of you do. And I look forward to working with the workers of this country, the investors and employers of this country, the Barbadians across all communities, to make this country that place which can defy all the odds. I believe that we can do it. Let us now show the world that it is possible. Happy New Year, and I wish each and every one of you the opportunity to be able to make it better for yourselves and your family. Thank you.